Hi there, today we're going to practice comparing numbers below 10,000. So to compare numbers, the first thing we need to do is look at a number and remember its place value. So we have the number here, 4,682. In the ones, we have two ones, eight tens, six hundreds, and four thousands. Thousands being the biggest number, ones being the smallest amount. So now we have to talk about comparing these numbers. We have one number here, and say we had the number 3,793. Now, if we look at the numbers here, in the ones, this has more ones. Tens, this number, the red number here, 3,793, has more tens. Hundreds, we have more hundreds in this second number but then we look at thousands. And in the thousands, we have four thousands in this number and three thousands. So three thousands is a smaller number. So if we we're comparing this, this number here is actually smaller. Even though its first three digits, its first three numbers are all larger, we look at that largest number and this number here is bigger, it has more. Let's quickly review the comparing symbols. So here we have the three symbols. This symbol right here is less than. This symbol right here, greater than. And this symbol, equal to. Remember, we've talked about the alligator before. The, the alligator always eats the larger amount. So in this case, the point here at the back points to the smaller number. The point always goes to the smaller number less than, greater than, equal to. Let's compare some numbers. So here we have the numbers 3,642 and 5,639. Now what symbol are we going to use to compare those? Is it less than, equal to, greater than, which one? So let's take a look at the two numbers and compare them again. We have 3,000, or thousands, 640. Two. And here we have 5,639. Well, our first step is we always look at the largest number here. So we have the thousands. That's our largest in the place value. If these were exactly the same, we'd then look at our hundreds. If these were both the same, we'd look at the tens. And if these were both the same, so we'd look at the ones. Right away, we're going to look at the thousands. In this number, 3,642, we have a 3. In this number here, 5,639, we have a 5. So we know right away that 5 is greater than 3. So when we're comparing these, we can right away say 3,642 is less than 5,639. We don't even have to worry about the hundreds, tens, and ones. They don't matter. These guys don't matter. All we have to do in this case as look at our thousands and see which one is bigger. If these were exactly the same, then we'd look at the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. But in this case, the thousands themselves aren't the same, so we don't have to worry. We're just going to compare those two numbers. Take a look at another. Okay, we have two numbers here, 2,936 and 2,941. So first thing we look at is our thousands. Well, here we have 2,000. We have 2,000 here. So those are exactly the same. So now we get to look at our hundreds. Well, in our hundreds here, we have nine hundreds. And we have another nine hundreds. So those are exactly the same. So then we need to go down to our tens. In our tens, we have three. And in our other ten, we have a four. So though, are those exactly the same? No, they aren't. So then we just have to figure out, is 3 greater than or less than or equal to 4? Well, right away we know that it is less than. It's a smaller number. So then we can actually fill out our less than symbol. 2,936 is less than 2,941. We don't even have to look at our ones. We can stop right at our tens there and figure out our answer. Let's try another. 
Okay, what symbol are we going to put in here? 9,431, 9,397. Well, they both have 9,000. So where do we go next? That's right, we go to the hundreds and see if those are the same. Well, we have a 4 here, and we have a 3 here. Do we need to look at the tens? Do we look at the ones? We don't have to do either because we can see right away in the hundreds that one is greater than the other. So is four greater than or less than three? It's most definitely a bigger number. So we're going to use our symbol for greater than. 9,431 is greater than 9,397. Nice work. To review, let's solve this word problem. Bob has 3,462 stickers, and Phil has 3,467 stickers. Who has the greater amount of stickers? So, let's compare our two numbers. We have 3,462 and 3,467. Let's compare those numbers. Well, 3,000, a 3,000 here, and a 3,000 here. So we move to our hundreds. 400, 400. Go to our tens. Six tens, six tens. What do we have to look at now? That's right, our ones. So we have two ones and seven ones. Which is a greater number, two or seven? Well, that's right, seven is a greater number. So when comparing 3,462, to 3,467, 3,462 is less 3,467. So who has the greater amount of stickers? Phil has the greater amount because he has 3,467. And 3,467 is a greater number than 3,462. Today you've been comparing numbers below 10,000 Practice using your place value to help you to compare your numbers to see which are greatest and which are least and which numbers are equal to. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math.